Hey everyone, my name is Chris. I am the lead genius at Social BMW. Uh, today I wanted to talk about an issue that we've been um, kind of dealing with within service for a little while now. I want to say we're going on close to a month with that. And this is within Sirius XM uh, 360L, so our latest um, offering of this. And so let's say, as you can see right now, channel two right there is uh, playing. And that's fine, I can hear it, you know. Everything's working, there's no issue with that. But then what happens it, is it jumps to, I exit the vehicle, everything is done, I shut the car off, and it jumps to channel one. It goes up there, and it kind of appears to be checked off on number one, so it will kind of look like this, but in reality, channel two is still playing, or whatever is happening. Uh, we've also had other issues where let's say it's channel two that I'm listening to, everything is fine there, everything is working the way that it should, but I have uh, no content, no graphics, no uh, artwork, um, and it just is kind of like a blank uh, screen there. So there seems to be some kind of glitches in there. Initially, uh, we recommended vehicles coming in to get uh, programmed, just to kind of see sometimes that kind of irons out and fixes a, a lot of those kind of uh, technical bugs that could happen uh, when, um, you know, when there are minor updates and things like that happening. However, we have discovered that that has not fixed uh, some of these issues, especially the one where uh, the correct channel is playing, but it's showing uh, or it always jumps back up to the top of the list. So where we kind of are with this is um, BMW, from our standpoint, isn't aware of this issue. They need to have a certain amount of cases being reported to them nationally in order for them to actually kind of take a look at this and figure out what's going on with it. And they're just not there yet, unfortunately. So there isn't enough people around there kind of uh, complaining and, and saying that this is an issue. I'm not saying that they haven't looked into it, but they're not also confirming that this is an issue. But I can tell you, as, especially at this dealership, it is an issue because we've had, it, it's it's a strange number of customers that have come in all complaining of the same issue. So this is going to turn into an issue. It's just not there yet. It's not a big enough issue uh, for them to address it, I suppose. Uh, but the fix, there really isn't a fix at this point in time. So I'm, I'm trying to ask customers to hang tight there, um, you know, apologize for any sort of inconvenience this is. Uh, the highlight I could say is at least it's playing the right channel. It's on the right. It's not like it's uh, jumping around. I personally have experienced this in a new car that I got into the other day, which it was a more annoying situation because it actually changed the channel. And that's terrifying because I don't want that issue to be spreading uh, to customers either because let's say I was listening to channel five. It jumped me to channel two and it played channel two. So that's a different altogether different issue, I believe. But again, there's some weird stuff happening out there with Sirius XM 360L and some other things that we have going on there. So we're not quite sure exactly if it's a iDrive 7 issue, if it's a Sirius XM issue. Um, we're still trying to work it out. We're still trying to get BMW to really just acknowledge that this is an issue. Uh, so uh, stick with us, you know, as we have updates, we'll provide you those updates. Um, I'm hoping that you can still continue to listen to the content in the channel that you're listening to and uh, not be interrupted and definitely not be changed to a different channel altogether. I hope that was just kind of, just for me, uh, the car was deciding just to change the channel on me. But um, if, if you do have any cases out there, uh, please let your service advisor know because uh, it doesn't matter where you are either. I'm not saying sell your BMW specifically. I'm actually telling um, everybody who watching this video, if you have this problem, go to your service center, tell your service advisor because they need to be reporting this to BMW. The more people nationally that are saying, hey, look, this is a problem, then they get on this stuff and they start looking at it. So don't hold back. Don't just wait for a fix. Don't wait to hear anything. Uh, take action and actually start reporting this stuff. Uh, and that goes for anything, really. Uh, if, if you have uh, friends uh, within uh, BMW who you guys all have the same car or something like that and you're all noticing a similar issue, you know, go into your service center and say something, you know, have an appointment, uh, do that because if the service advisors and the techs and the shop foreman and all these people, if if we've never heard of this issue and we don't know how to fix it, 
what we do is we go to BMW and we say, hey, is this a known issue? If they push back and say, uh, not at this time, then we're suggested to do a number of other things, but it might not be the right number of things because this might be altogether a larger problem that eventually BMW is going to have to address and fix at some level. So um, in order to get the ball rolling and to get that process happening sooner rather than later, we need you guys to go out there to your service centers and start, you know, um, stating these uh, various claims because we, we need to get this going a little bit faster. So uh, that's the, unfortunately, uh, that's kind of the situation. And that is the best advice that I have for you today. If you're having any serious XM issues, um, any other issues that you may have in terms of, let's say, you know, you go into Sirius XM and you hear nothing, like there's nothing at all, uh, that actually is a pretty simple fix. All you need to do is go to Sirius XM, their website. Um, there is a way for you to refresh your radio. Your, your They send a refresh signal essentially to your vehicle. That's what you need to do. We have a lot of customers coming in, strangely, I still don't know why, where they get in there, they go into Sirius XM and it doesn't matter where they are. They can they can tap onto any of these uh, channels and they get nothing. They get no connection at all. It's just kind of like a little squiggly. Uh, there's no words, letters, anything. Um, they don't hear anything, but they go to AM, they go to FM. We know it's working. They just need a refresh code sent to their radio. Um, and so the best way of doing that is um, if you go into should just go right into option under the iDrive wheel there. We want to go to XM listener profile. Maybe we don't want to do that. They've recently renamed this. No, it's under subscribe. My bad. Sorry. Um, under radio ID, uh, obviously it will be different for your vehicle, but whatever your radio ID is, um, just kind of put that information in. Um, that's what I do. I just go to the Siri. It's not a special thing. Uh, we have tools and stuff where we can send refresh codes and do stuff, but I just to kind of make it a point for customers as well that you, know, you can do this just as easily as I can and you don't have to deal with the frustration of going uh, to service or anything like that. It's uh, go to Sirius XM, type in refresh code. You're going to be brought right to their page. They're going to ask you a little bit of information. It's all your information. So it's nothing that you're not going to know. Uh, the only thing that you do need to know is your radio ID, which I just kind of showed you. Uh, again, right under your iDrive controller, press option, go into where it says subscribe. Um, and then your radio ID uh, will be right in there. And then once you're good, uh, send the refresh code. It goes right to your car. There's really nothing else you should do. I think it says you have to wait five minutes or so. And the, the key is if you can hear uh, channel one, if you can hear this stuff here, then you know that you're good to go. And all these other channels are going to start falling into place, you know, within a couple seconds after that. And that works every single time. And I've probably fixed five or six cars in the last month just doing that alone. So if it's service that you need and you bought the new car and you have the one year all access included, um, if for some reason it's not working, just do that and you should be good to go. Otherwise, that's pretty much everything I have right now in Sirius XM. Um, aside from that, when everything is working, it is really good. 360L is a good system. I really like the related section in there. Um, I like the fact that I can pause it, jump back to all that stuff. Um, I have Sirius XM myself on my phone. I listen to it, I get out, I pause it, get back into the car, I can pick it up where I left off. So it is a really good, um, it, it's a cool uh, service. So uh, definitely, make sure it's up and running and you can utilize that to the best of your ability because it's it's pretty cool stuff so that's about everything